batteries are near the top of the list when it comes to doing DIY projects. They are versatile and they make mobile projects possible. The basic concept behind how a battery works is this. There are two chemicals locked inside of a battery. One chemical is hungry for more electrons and the other chemical is bloated and wants to get rid of electrons. Thus, when they're together, an electrochemical reaction occurs where electrons move from one chemical to another. The electrons gather in the negative terminal and they want to get to the positive terminal. If you just connect a wire between the negative and positive terminals, the electrochemical reaction would start and the battery would be drained. This is not recommended as it can be dangerous and will generate a very hot battery quickly. So when you connect something in between these terminals, the electrons travel and do work in the process of traveling to the positive terminal. That gives you power. Now, the two types of batteries most people have heard of are alkaline batteries. They're the most popular type of batteries. They have a sloped discharge curve in their voltage, which will start at their rating and drop over time until the battery eventually dies. These types of batteries are great because they have a very long shelf life and are cheap, making it ideal for emergency devices such as flashlights and radios. These commonly come in AA, AAA, C, D, and 9 volts. Then there's lithium ion batteries, or the one you find in your cell phone or laptops, and they tend to be expensive. They are good for these devices because the batteries have high energy density, which makes them lightweight and portable. They're also the ones inside of electric cars, and now you know why electric cars are expensive to build. Batteries are rated in MAH, which stands for milliamp hour. The rating is very similar to a gas tank. As a DIY guy, I've used thousands of batteries doing thousands of projects. But do you know that not all AA batteries are created equal? You may be purchasing batteries and not even know that you're getting ripped off. The first lesson with batteries? The more generic, the better. Thomas from Bitbox tested over 40 different batteries. He bought the 40 batteries new and tested all of them by draining their power. He tested both in low-drain environments, like CD and MP3 players, and high-drain environments, like power-hungry cameras. The results are represented in milliamp hours, which is a measure of the capacity of the battery. You can find the full link to the test in the description below. While the battery test was done in the UK, I bet the results are pretty similar in the USA. The winner? IKEA batteries, followed by discount store batteries. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, that means you're probably better off buying generic brand batteries instead of branded batteries. This is because tests show the performance differences in are minimal at best. According to the test, you should buy IKEA, Costco, or generic. Stay away from everything else. If IKEA wins in the overall category, who wins the longest lasting category? In the test, the Energizer Ultimate Lithium Batteries won the longest lasting test. If you've ever seen the Energizer Bunny commercial, well, now you know that their claim is true. But the thing they don't tell you is they cost twice as much. Longest means also the most expensive. The test results were also pulled from another test done by Deal News. Generic batteries are usually the best bang for the buck. Well, no matter how cheap and affordable batteries are, they are still expensive compared to the energy you get from the wall outlet. Well, how expensive? Let's do some quick math. Typically, in the USA, a kilowatt hour of energy from the outlet would cost around 10 cents. A typical AA battery has about one watt hour and costs around a dollar. What this means is that one kilowatt of energy from a AA battery costs about a thousand dollars. The energy from a battery costs 10,000 times more than the energy from the outlet. So, if you can use power from an outlet, do it! And that's how batteries work. If you missed any of my other Kip K tips, click the end cards on the screen to check those videos out. More Kip K tips next week. Thanks for watching.